a game ahead of us. Uh, we are going to take on the Reds, who I believe are have a similar record than we do, if I'm not mistaken. They are three and seven. I guess I was wrong. They've lost four straight too. So we can take a look at the wild cards right now. Here's what they look like. Um, we would be the last wild card spot right now with the expanded playoffs. There are eight teams that get in. Actually, I don't know if that's right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'd be ninth. Oh, we're tied. That's why. <clears throat> so right now we are in the playoff hunt, but we still got a way, long ways to go. So we're going to take a look at our roster real quick here. Um, nothing really to change. I mean, right now we we're, we're, look at our hitting. We're tied for 10th in run scored. We're 10th in batting average. Um, our pitching is... We're seventh runs against. Our bullpen has been pretty good. We're third now. We're ninth at starter ERA. ERA, and our defensive efficiency has been tenth. I thought we'd be a little better off than that. Um, we've only committed one error, so that that's a good thing. But the defensive defensive efficiency hurts, and I think it has a lot to do with our outfield. <clears throat> so, uh, as you can see, as you know, um, the, we are the shortened season means no minor leagues are playing. Um, I did confirm that. After the season is over, uh, it reverts back to a regular 162 game season, and the minor leagues will play and all that good stuff. So, depending on how this goes and how it feels, um, we may continue after the 2020 season into 2021 in the game and have some may have those decisions to make that the real Indians do um, with Lindor and Carlos Santana and Cesar Hernandez and such and Brad Hand. Um, one move we did make uh, after the game with the Reds, or I'm sorry, with the Twins, is we moved Tristan McKenzie into the into the rotation and moved. Uh, um, uh, why am I drawing a blank on his name? Um, crap, I can't remember his name now. Um, Adam Plutko, there we go, into the bullpen. Uh, Plutko struggled with his two starts this season. He's got an ERA of nine thirty nine and seven and two thirds, sixteen hits. So he's going to pitch out of the bullpen for now. I'm not going to make any any roster changes. Um, we're just going to start now. We're going to go and start this two game set with the Reds. Now I'm I'm only going to usually do each series as it goes. I may do the other two Reds games and make it a four game set. I don't know. Right now I want to keep this at the two on the road, and then we have two at home with Cincinnati. So here we are. Um, we are facing Sonny Gray with in this. This will be his third start. He's 1 0 with a 286 ERA. Good pitcher for them. Um, and we are sending our top pitcher in Shane Bieber, who has uh, had one really good start and then he struggled in his last outing. But his, his strikeout, 12.8 strikeouts per nine innings, is pretty good. He was 0.8 walks per nine innings. So uh, clearly he's our ace. Uh, he's only 25, which is great. So that hopefully he bounces back from a bad start now. And since this is the year of the Universal Designated Hitter, um, we uh, don't have to worry about our pitcher batting. So we're going to look at our lineup. Now we're facing a right-hander, so I want to make a couple of changes to our batting order. Um, I want to check, make sure nobody's tired, because we've played 10 games, and we've got three guys who've played every single game already. So Lindor is still 100% rested, or 100%, so he's still good. Ramirez is 100%, and I'm assuming Santana will be as well. So we're good there on that front. So I'm not going to make any changes to them in the or in the lineup. Um, Cesar Hernandez is starting to hit a little bit better. Uh, I still don't know if I'll trust him at the top of the order. So I'm going to have Lindor. I mean, this is still going to stay the same, and I probably should set this um, so I don't have to keep doing this for every single game. But for right now, I kind of want to go with the same lineup that we've been going with. Um, Tempted to lead Mercado off because he's been hitting the ball pretty well. <clears throat> and you know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to get Mike Freeman a start at second base. Give Hernandez a day off. And he's struggled a little bit. Uh, and behind the plate, I'm going to have Perez in there. He's been he's been hitting a little better than our other catchers, and he still struck eight strikeouts. But I, I like his glove back there. Um, so I think I'm good with what we've got here. So let's start the game and see how we do in this 
won it this two game set in Cincinnati. All right, as we're loading it up here. All right, here we go. On the road in Great America Ballpark. Great American Ballpark. So here is Oscar Mercado leading off, hitting at 281. Home run, a couple of ribbies on the year. Here's the pitch from Sonny Gray. It's a 201 pitch to him. He's hit the opposite direction. That's going to get down for a base hit. So maybe having him lead off was a good idea. I think he did that a little bit for the Indians in real life uh, last season in 2019. So we got a leadoff runner on. Here's Lindor. He's hitting 268. One more nine ribbies. Here's the one two to him, and he's going to hit this one the other way, and that's going to be a fly out to left. Or Winkler's going to, or Winker's going to grab it, and make it for out number one. Ramirez has had a starting to hit a little better. He's hitting 275, a home run and seven RBIs. Here's the 2 0 to him. On the ground, a second picked up over to flipped over to short, and he is in the double play. Four six three double play. So the Indians get a hit, but don't do anything with it. So we go to the bottom of the first. No score. Uh, Bieber on the hill. Like I said, he's one and one with a 450 earned run average, but he struggled in his last outing. Gave up a lot of runs. Uh, leading off will be center fielder Travis J Jankowski. He's hitting to 194 with an RBI. Here's the one two from Bieber, and it's on the ground. Hit the second. Freeman will grab it over to first for the first out. That'll bring in Brian Goodwin, who's playing injured. He's hitting 250. And I saw he had the little plus next to him. It means he's hurt. And it's day to day, so let's see what his issue is. It's strained for him. So that's why he's probably does it in the DH role. There's a 1 0 pitch to him. Hit right to Freeman. Freeman will scoop it up and fire it over for out number two. And that'll bring up Ingenio Suarez, the third baseman, hitting 270, a home run and three RBIs. Here's the pitch to him. Ground ball hit the third. Ramirez will scoop it, fire it to first. It's low, but he'll scoop it out, and that is out number three. So no damage done. We go to the second, no score. Santana has been really hitting the ball well lately. In 333, a couple of homers and four RBIs. It's the 1 0 pitch to him. This hit in the air to right center field, and the right fielder will take it, and that's out number one, Nick Castellanos. Uh, here is Friend Loreas, who has hit a little better lately. He hit that big home run in the Twins series, and he's had a couple more hits, but he's still struggling with the bat. Uh, here's the payoff to him. Striking out a ton still, and he's going to swing and miss on a strikeout. Sonny Gray's a good pitcher. Uh, here's Naylor. Josh Naylor's been hitting the ball a little better. 286, a couple of homers, and five RBIs. Here's the 2 1 to him on the ground to second. And then he will, and Jeanette will flip it to first for the third out. So nothing to cross there for us. Go to the bottom of the second. Still no score. Jesse Winker, the left fielder, in 333 with, a, with an RBI. Here's the 1 0 to him. He'll pop this one is Freeman will go back and make the catch. He's been busy. Back up infielder. All right, here's Castellanos hitting 321, a home run and three RBIs. The former Tiger, which we're very familiar with him. 0-2 to him is hit in the air right field. Or Naquin will grab it. Two down. And here is Tucker Barnhart in 480 for the catcher. A couple of home runs for him. The payoff pitch to him is swung on and... Oh, he'll walk. Checked it. All right, Scooter Gannett. This is his uh, Gannett, this is his first game. This might be a second game of the year. He's going to hit a line drive to center. It's going to get down. Mercado is going to throw it in, but Barnhart will beat that to third. And we have runners on first and third with two outs, and that will be Freddie Galvis, the shortstop, hitting 188. A couple of RBIs. Just the 1-2 to him is popped in the air. Mercado's back, and he'll put it away. So nothing to cross. They, they uh, threaten, but can't put it across. So we go to the top of the third. It's the middle school. Here's Naquin, hitting 167 on the air. Played a good defense out there, and he'll rip one into right field. I think he's going to be a solid. He'll be an okay, okay to play right field. I still think we need to upgrade this, upgrade our outfield. And that'll bring up Roberto Perez hitting a 300 with a home run and three RBI. Struck him out. That's been the way of the land with him. Here's Freeman. It's 0 for 2 on the season. Here's the 1 2 to him, and he'll hit this one on the ground to third. Hook the second for one. That's all they'll get. So he gets into a fielder's choice. So we have two runner on first with two outs at the top of the order. And Mercado's 1 for 1. Here's the 1 2 to him, and he'll hit this on the ground to second. And he'll 
Good out, we'll flip it over to first. So nothing across. We get a hit, but nothing doing. Three, still no score. He's bottom of the third. <clears throat> and that'll bring up Francisco Pena. He's 0 for 4 on the season, the first baseman. We'll pop this up, and Lindor will go back and put it away. Out number one. That'll bring up Jankowski. Uh, the center fielder is 0 for 1. Ground all the short. Got him. Two down. And here's Goodwin. He's 0 for 1. The 1 0 pitch to him. Oh, 0 1 pitch to him. On the ground to short. Lindor to first. So, nothing across. Fourth inning, still no score. Here's Lindor, he's 0 for 1. Here's the 2 0 to him from Gray. And Sonny Gray will give a fly ball to center, and it'll be out number 1. Ramirez is 0 for 1 as well. Here's the 0 1 pitch to him. Swung on, hit on the ground to second. Scooter Gannett up and over to first. Two down. Carlos Santana, the 2 2 to him. Hit in the air to right field, but it won't be deep enough, and Castellanos will put it away for out number three. Bottom of the third, or fourth, no score still. Here's Suarez, here's the 0-2 from Bieber. He's smoked into the right field corner. That's going to get down for extra bases. Naquin will grab it and throw it in, and he's in there with a double. Lead off double there for the third baseman. Here's Winker. He's 0 for 1 today as well. The ground ball hit to short. Lindor will grab it and throw it to first for the out. One down. Castellanos is 0 for 1. The payoff to him. He swung on a miss. Strike 3. It's the first strikeout for Bieber. Here's Barnhart. He's going to hit this one in the air to center. And as Mercado will come in and put it away. So they strand the double. It's still no score going to the fifth. Right, here's Reyes. He's 0 for 1. The 2-2 two -two to him. He struck out in the first his first time up, and he'll strike out again. His second strikeout of the day. That's the third for Ray. Here's Naylor, 0 for 1. 0 1 pitch to him. He's on the ground to second. Scooter Gannett, the second baseman, are getting a lot of workouts. A real big workout today for both teams. Here's Naquin. He's 1 for 1. The 0 for 1 pitch to him. He's hit the other way, but Winker should grab this. And there's out number 3. Bottom of the fifth, no score. Um, both pitchers have not thrown a lot of pitches, so Bieber's throwing 52 pitches. He's got walking a strikeout in two hits and four innings. So the Scooter Gannett, there's the one-two to him is a check, but strike three. So strikeout number two is Freddie Galvis, the payoff pitch. Strike three. So two strikeouts of this inning for Bieber. Here's Pena. Ground ball at the third, Ramirez over to first, and that'll end the inning. So we've gone five, no score for either team. Each team only has two hits. And here's Perez. He is 0 for 1 with a strikeout. And here's the pitch from Gray to him. He's hit in the ground, picked up by the shortstop. Galvis will throw him out easily, one out. And we'll bring up Freeman. He's 0 for 1. A 3 1 pitch to him. Is hit in the gap. That's going to get down. That's going to roll to the wall. That's a double. Freeman will stand up with a double. So a one-out double for the Tribe second baseman. So it's top of the order for Mercado. We have a runner on second here. One down. The 1-1 one, one from Gray is popped up on the infield. That's not going to do much. Second baseman Scooter Gannett will come and take it for the second out. Here's Lindor. The 0-1 to him. is hit in the air. Popped up to third. And that'll end the inning. Indians get a double, but they can't do nothing with it. We go to the bottom of the sixth, still scoreless. Both pitchers have pitched well. There's Bieber now. Bieber's got the 1 2 to Jankowski. Or Janow, yeah. Jankowski, that's a grounder just past the third baseman. That's going to get into the down in the left field, and that's a double. Two bagger there. So we've got a leadoff double for Jankowski. And here's Goodwin, the 1 1 to him. Sit on the ground to second. For, uh, Freeman will flip it over to first for the first out. Here's Suarez. He had a double his last time up. The one-two to him. Swung on a miss. Strikeout number four for Bieber. That was big. Get Winker and get out of this. There'll be no damage done. The payoff to him. Swing and a miss. Fifth strikeout. So we go to the seventh. No score. Ramirez is 0 for 2 today. The pitch from Gray. Sitting on the ground to second base. And Brunette will fire at the first for the first out. Santana, the payoff pitch to him. In the air to center field. And Jankowski will put it away for out number two. And now to bring up Reyes. He's 0 for 2 with two strikeouts today. The 1-1 one, one to him is crushed to deep left field. That's deep and gone. 
Fran Mil Reyes with the big solo homer in the seventh inning to get the un, un, uh, uncap the run, so or to break the tie. I can't talk today. Solo home run, 399 feet. It is one nothing Cleveland as we go to the. Or we have two outs in the seventh. Uh, here's Naylor, the 0-1 coming to the left fielder from Gray. It is crushed down the line. That's getting to the corner in right field. Naylor's going to go into second with a double. He slides in. So a two-out double for the Tribe left fielder. And then we got runner on second with two outs. And here is Naquin. He is one for two today. Great kicks and fires. The 2-1 hit on the ground. Galvis up with it over to first. But the Indians get a run and take a 1-0 lead as we go to the bottom of the seventh here. 1-0 Indians. Here's Bieber against Cassianos. He's still only throwing 82 pitches, and he's still still looking good. The 1-0 pitch to him. First ball, oh, and Cassianos rips it to deep center. That's going to get over the head of Mercado into the wall. Cassianos is in there with a leadoff double. So is that a sign to get the bullpen up? He's throwing 84 pitches now, so why don't we do that just to be safe. They have lefties coming up, so let's get Perez. And I want to see... You know what? Uh, let me get Simber. Let's get this. Let's get it. Okay. So here's Barnhart, the 2 2 from Bieber. Swing on, on the ground a second. And three minute, I get the out number one. So here's Scooter Gannett, the old second baseman. Pitch to him. He's up the middle, and we're tied. Base hit for the second baseman. Here's Scooter Gannett, and that's going a single. One run the score. Here. Galba stands in. The payoff pitch to him is swung out and missed. Strike three. 6K for Bieber, and here's Pena, the first baseman, the 1-0 to him. Is it high and deep to right? Naquin is back, and we'll put it away on the track. So the Reds answer, tie the game at 1 as we go to the 8th inning. Gray is still in there, and here is Perez leading off. The 2-2 to the Indians catcher. Swung out on the ground to 3rd, Suarez up with it, over to 1st, 1 out. Here's Freeman, he is 1 for 2 today. Here's the one-two pitch coming to the Indian second baseman. He'll swing up, stand there and look at it. Strike three. In the top of the order, here's Mercado. He is one for three on the day. The 0 one pitch coming to him. This hit on the ground to between third and first. The pitcher will grab it, and he will beat this out for an infield single. So here's Lindor. Runner on first now. Lindor is 0-2 coming to him. He's swung on and hit into the down the left field line. That's going to get down for an opposite field single. Mercado will hold it second as Winker got it in quickly. So they're going to the bullpen. Archie Bradley coming in. Bradley came over in a trade from the Diamondbacks. Now, that happened in real life later in the season around the trade deadline, but I made all the roster moves uh, before that. So here's Ramirez against Archie Bradley. 3-1 uh, pitch coming to Ramirez. Ball four, as he called, lost him. So that'll bring up Santana with the bases loaded. Two outs. 3-0 pitch to him, and he will get an RBI as he walks in a run. All right, bottom. So they need to take a take a one run lead. Here is Reyes. Hit the big solo homer. The two two to him. Strike three called. So Indians get a run back, but we are going to the bottom of the eighth. Two to one Indians, and now we can go to the bullpen here. Hello. Well, hello there, people. There's Dimitri. Oh, the internet. Interwebs. All right, we're going to go to Oliver Perez, Dimitri. Good idea? Yes, you do. All right, so we're going to get Perez up. I'm going to get Nathan up, too. All right, so here's Perez against Jankowski. Just the 1-1 one, one from the lefty. On the ground, hit to the pitcher, and that's going to be an infield single. All right, they're going to pinch Nick Sensil. Now, this guy actually was a key part of a lot of trade talks. He's one of their top young players. Here's the 1-0 pitch to him. Is hit in the air, and the second baseman Freeman will grab it. One down. Suarez in. Here's the pitch to him from Perez. Albert Perez is hit. He gives up a single to right field. He had to wait on that as it bounces in front of Naquin. We got two on, one out for Winker, the left fielder. Pitch coming to him is hit in the air to center field. Mercado should get this. He grabs it for out number two. But Senzel will tag. I'm sorry, Jankowski will tag and go to third. And here's Nick Castellanos. He will stand in. The 0 2 pitch to him is hit right back up the middle, and we're tied again. So 
we got a 2-2 game here. Bottom of the eighth here is Bernhardt. Tucker Bernhardt, the second the catcher. He will strike out swinging, but the Reds tie it up in two. Go to the ninth, 2-2. Two -two. So it's Naylor, per Naquin, and Perez. And here is Naylor, the 1-2 to him. He's caught him looking. Strike three. Naquin, also a 1-2 pitch. Strike three. Two straight strikeouts. And here's Perez, a 1-2 pitch. Swung on and missed. Struck out the side. Go to the bottom of the ninth. Still tied at two. So it's Scooter Gannett, Galvis and Pena, and, and Perez. Okay, Scooter. And Scooter Gannett just ended this game. A walk-off solo homer. The Reds take game one. Wow. Good amount of the bullpen. And that will do it, folks. Not a good way to start the series. Uh, you know, three straight run, run, run runs in those bottom innings. So I'm back, everyone. So Perez lost, takes the loss. He's 0-1. And, and Bradley gets the win. He's 2-0. And, and they're down this year. All right. So, so we've got game one in the books. We've dropped to 5-6. and six. That's not a good thing. So we'll finish the day out. Hopefully Carrasco can do better. Against our old friend, um, Trevor Bauer. So there's nothing new to report there. It is going to be Bauer, yes. So let's we'll start the game against the Reds. Game two. And then we get to play them again in Cleveland for two games. So here we are. Let's take a look here at our starting lineup. Uh, Mercado, so you can see you can see who's tired already. So Ramirez is not going to play, and neither will Perez. So we'll have Ramirez and Perez on the bench. Lindor, 98%. I think he should be okay for a game. Um, actually, no, we're going to give him a day off because I don't want him to, to sit against the... You know what? No, 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 no. I'm going to have Freeman play third in this game. Hernandez will lead off. Uh, Lindor is going to going to play. So Hernandez will be in the leadoff spot. Uh, 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 uh. Maybe left. Reyes the DH. So move Santana up. Reyes will bat there. I'm going to have Mercado there, Hedges, and Freeman. All right, we're good. All right, game two. <clears throat> Trevor Bauer making his third start for them. Here's Hernandez hitting 158. He got a day off yesterday, so hopefully that did him some good. Here comes the pitch to him. First pitch of the game, and he swings and hits it right back to second base. Out number one. <clears throat> Here's Lindor. He is hitting at 267. The 3 1 to him and is hit in the air. It's out number two. Santana. Uh, the 1 2 to Carlos is swung on a miss. So 1 2 3, Indians go. All right, here's Carrasco against Nick Senzel playing third base today. It's the one-two to him. On the ground to short. And Lindor will get it over to first, one down. Here's Joey Votto, the first baseman he had a day off yesterday. Here's the one-one to him, and he'll crush this one into the corner, and Naquin will have to play it on the hop off the wall. Fires it in, and there are is a double. So we're on second with one out. For Mike Moustakis, the DH today, they have a whole new lineup going here. 2-2 two -two to him, and he'll strike him out. And that'll bring up Goodwin playing left field today. He's hitting 200 on the year with a ribby. The 2-1 to him is right back up the middle. And as Mercado's up with it, the runner is coming home. Vado will end up scoring, so it is a 1-0 Reds lead here. Here is Shogo Akam Akamiya. Akamaya, he's a big uh, Japanese import. He's hitting uh, 833 with a home run and four RBIs. On the ground to short, Lindor will grab it and over to first. So in the inning, but the Reds go first. It's one nothing, top of the second. 
And Reyes, he's hitting at 158 with a couple of homers. Hit one yesterday. Here's the pitch to him. He gives it a charge, but not deep. Left fielder will drift over and put it away for out number one. Here's Naylor at 281. Couple of homers, five RBI. Pitch to him on the ground at first. Votto will scoop it up and take it himself. One, two down. And here is Mercado being 306 with a home run and two RBIs. He'll pop this up. And the second baseman, or the shortstop in this case, will take it. Oh, no, that was second baseman. Pitcher moved over. So, All right, go to the bottom of the second. It's one nothing Reds. Here is Mark Payton, the right fielder, getting his first action. He hit on the ground at first. Santana takes it himself. One down. Here's Freddie Galvis hitting 171 on the year. The payoff to him. Strike three. So we got two outs here with Christian Colon, the second baseman, coming up. Here's the 0-1 to him. Ground ball to short. Lindor will go the only way and get it. So we'll go to the bottom. Of, I'm sorry, the top of the third. one nothing Cincinnati. Naquin, Hedges, and Freeman are due up. Here's Naquin hitting 176 on the season. 1-0 to him. Ground ball hit the third. Senzel up with it over to first. One down. Here's Hedges. He's hitting a 273 on the air. Home run and RBI. Pitch to him. Hit the short. Galvis up with it. And that's out number two. And it'll bring up Freeman. He had a hit yesterday. He's one for five on the season. Playing third today. Giving Ramirez a day off. And he'll go the other way and get it into the corner. And that could be a double for him. Guy has been a uh, journeyman his whole career, and since he came to Cleveland, he seems to be a uh, found something here. So we got a two-out double. Runner on second here with two down. Uh, Hernandez is up. He is 0 for 1. And he'll hit this one in the gap. That should tie the game up. Yep, that's down. Hernandez going to second with a stand-up double. Or slides in there with a double. So an RBI double there for Cesar. That was big. Get him going, too. So we tie the game up. Uh, here is Lindor. He's 0 for 1. 2-2. He's hit in the air to center field, and that should end the inning. But we get that run back, and we go to the bottom of the third, all tied up at 1. Carrasco has gone two pretty good innings so far. Here is Kurt, Kurt Cal Calassi. Or Casilli, sorry. <laughs> I can't, can't read either. Payoff to him. The Reds catcher is ball 4. Gotta avoid those walks there, Cookie. And that'll take us to the top of the order for Nick Senzel. He is 0 for 1. There's the 1 2 to him. He's hit into right field. And Nick will grab it. The runner is on his way to third. And he will get in there. So that was a good, good piece of hitting. So there's two on with nobody out for Joey Votto. The 2 0 to him. It's a fly ball to left that should be deep enough. Naylor grabs it. He's going to fire it in. Oh, he held him. Good play. It wasn't, must not have been deep. Plus, the catcher is all around the third base. So we got one out. Runner on the corners. Here's Mike Moustakas. He's 0 for 1. The payoff to him. Hit on the ground. A second. Flipped over to short, and that's all they'll get. Because <clears throat> Lindor can only get the one out. So they give up the run, but we get the out. So it's 2 to 1 Reds. Here is Goodwin. He is 1 for 1 with an RBI. Payoff to him. He swung on and missed. So we go to the top of the fourth. 2 to 1 Cincinnati. Here's Santana 0 for 1. A 1 2 to him is hit in the air. That's a deep shot. That could be out of here, and it is gone. Carlos Santana delivers a solo homer. It's now a tie ball game. 401 feet. That is his third on the season. So, good way to get right back into it. Here's Reyes. He's 0 for 1. 2 0 to him. He hits this one in the air, and it's going to be snagged by the second baseman, Cologne. So there's one out for for Josh Naylor. He's 0 for 1. Payoff to him. And Bauer will lose him, walks him. That's Bauer's first walk of the game. And that'll bring up Mercado. He's 0 for 1. Naylor on it first. The pitch to him. And Mercado hits this one deep to right. It's off the top of the wall. And I don't know why we just froze. And there it goes. So Naylor is very deep. Average runner is a great arm. We're going to send him. And he beat it. I don't know why the it froze up there for a second. but So Mercado's got a double that was off the top of the wall, and Naylor beat it out. So we have a 3-2 Indians lead with a one out, and here is Naquin with Mercado on at second. The pitch to him is hit on the ground to short. 
Galvis will flip it over to first for the second out. Mercado moved up, and that'll bring up Hedges. He's 0 for 1. The 3 0 to him will be a ball. So it gets him to first base, so we go to the bottom of the order for Freeman, who's 1 for 1 today. And here is the 1 0 pitch to the Indian third baseman, and he'll hit this one in the air to center. It will be a weak play, but the Indians will get two runs to push him ahead. Four, 3 to 2 as we go to the bottom of the fourth. So Carrasco on the hill, three innings pitch, allowed two runs on three hits already, a walk and three strikeouts. Here's Akamaya, he is 0 for 1. The 1 0 pitch to the red center fielder is hit down low in the left field, and that's going to get down. This guy can just flat out hit, and that'll be a single for him. So runner on first now with nobody out for Mark Payton, he's 0 for 1 today. 1 0 to him on the ground to first. And there is, oh, an infield single. Whew. So we got two on, nobody out here for Freddie Galvis, the shortstop who's 0 for 1. Here's the pitch to him. In the air to right, Naquin should be able to make this play. He will grab it, and nobody tags up. So we've got one down, runners on first and second here. For Cologne, here's um, Christian Cologne. Here's the 1 2 to him. On the ground, that rascal up there will the second and get the one. So split the runners. We've got a runners in the corner with two outs, and here's here's Casilli, the catcher, the one one to him. Now when it gets away, we're tied. So Cologne moves up to second base. We have a three three ball game, and here is the payoff pitch now to Casilli, and he will hit a line drive to third, and that'll end the inning. But we go to the fifth; it's tied at three. Here is Hernandez. He is one for two with an RBI. A one to one to him. On the ground to short. Galvis will grab it over to first, and that will end the in it. And the first out of the inning. Sorry. Lindor. He's 0 for two today. The payoff pitch coming to Frankie, and he will swing and miss. Strike. Oh, it swung and missed, but it got away, and the catcher threw him out. So we have two out. Uh, nobody out. Nobody on with two outs. Gosh. Here's Santana. This ball's hit deep to right and it is gone Carlos Santana's fourth of the year and his second of the game we are now four to three Cleveland 394 feet big game here for Carlos here's uh, Reyes the 0-2 coming to him and he My will God. swing and check swing and he is out but the Indians get a run it's the bottom of the fifth and the Indians are up four to three uh, Carrasco is throwing 74 he should still be okay pitch to him grounded a short and yeah, Senzel will be out number one. Here is Votto, the 0-1 pitch to him. On the ground, pick, oh, just by a diving Santana that gets into the corner, and Naquin will be up with it, and Votto is going to cruise in a second with a one-out double. So we've got a runner on second with one out. Here's the 1-2 to Moustakis. The swing and miss, strike three called. So we got two down now. Here's Goodwin, the 1-2 to him. He's one for two today, and he'll strike out. So the fifth K for Carrasco is big. We go to the sixth, four to three Indians. Bauer's still cruising along. Here's Naylor. He's one, you know, the one, two to, Bo, to Josh Naylor, and he'll swing and miss. Strike three. Mercado's one for two today with a ribby. Here is the pitch to him, and he will hit a blooper to first. A little easy play for Votto over to Bauer for out number two. And it'll be Naquin with the 0-2 pitch coming to the right fielder, and he'll stand there looking. So three up, three down. We go to the bottom of the six. Indians up four to three. Akamaya's in. He is one for two today. Here's the one two from Carrasco. And then he'll catch him looking. Strike three called. And 90 pitches. I want to get him through the fifth. We can get a six innings here. That'd be good. Uh, here's Peyton. He is one for two today. Here's the one two pitch to him. And he will just crush this one to right, but Naquin will be, be able to make it. Two down. Here's Freddie Galvis, 0 for two. The 1 0 pitch to the shortstop. Is hit the other way, and that'll get down in front of Naylor and left. So we got our two-out single there for the Reds shortstop. And that means it's time to get this bullpen working. And I'm going to go to Cal Quantrill. He's been pretty lights out this season. It's a 2-2. One goes down. We go to the seventh. Fred Priester. Freeman is one for two today. It's a 3-0 to him, and he will stand there and draw a walk. Ball four. So runner on first now, top of the order. 
Uh, Hernandez came through. He's one for three with a double, or with a ribby today. And it's a double, and he'll strike out. Strikeout number seven for Bauer. Here's Lindor with the 2-2 two -two to him with two outs. Runner on first. Grounder to short. Galvis over to first, and that is it. So we go stretch time. It's 4-3 to three still. 101 pitches thrown by Cookie, and I think that's enough. So we're going to go to Cal Quantrill. And bring him in. Quantrill's pitched pretty well. He's 2-0 with an ERA of 129. He's got 10 Ks and 7 innings pitched out of the bullpen. So here's the 2-1 pitch to coming in to Caselli. He'll hit a ground ball to short, and Lindor will take it. One out. Nick Senzel, he's 1-3. for three. Here's the 1-2 to him. Strike three. Swing and a miss. So a big strikeout there. And now that'll bring up Vado. He's two for three today. Here's the 2 2 to the Reds' first baseman. He's swinging a miss. So we go to the eighth. Indians still up four to three. Quantrill mowed him down. And Bauer's still out there. He does throw a lot of innings. So we're going to get Karinchak up. And there's Santana. The payoff to him, and it'll be a ball four. Santana has hit two homers today, so it's not surprising they were pitching him carefully. They're going to go to the pen, and they're going to bring in Michael Lorenzen. Lorenzen's 0-1 with a 540 ERA. This is a guy that in previous games I always like to make a trade for because he has a, he can play uh, outfield as well. And he's also uh, usually a pretty reliable reliever. But here's Reyes standing in. He's, uh, here's the 2-2 to him. Swung and missed. So there's out number one. Here's Naylor. He is 0-2 for 2 today. 1-2 to him. Strike three. And that brings up Mercado, the center fielder, the 1 2 to him, and he goes down swinging. So comes in, and Lorenzen just mows him down. Bottom of the eighth, 4 to 3 Indians. And Quantrill is, did his job. I think it's time to bring in James Karinchak, the setup guy, and we're going to get Ham up. Karinchak has got an ER, no ERA. He's three innings pitched, four strikeouts, and two walks. It's the 1 0 pitch coming to Mustakis. This hit on the ground to second. Hernandez will take it. Out number one. Here's Goodwin. He's one for three. The 2-1 to him. He's hit high and deep to center. And Mercado will just watch this go. We are tied at four. He's one for three today. Here's the pitch to him. And he'll hit a fly ball. This will hang in the yard. So Mercado should grab this for out number two. And that'll bring up Peyton. He is one for three. Here's the one two to Peyton. Swung and miss. The Reds get one on the solo homer. We are tied at four going to the ninth. Here's Nate Gwynn facing. They're bringing in Rossell Russell, Russell, and Glacius. He's been their closer. He's 0 1, but has an ERA of 32. He's been rocked. So here's Nate Gwynn. He is 0 for three. And Glacius will deal, and then Nate Gwynn will hit it right back to him. And he'll take it for out number one. Oh, it gets away. Bad throw, so Naquin's going to motor on to second after the air on the pitcher. That's big. So here's Hedges. And he's going to bat. Here's the 1 2 to him. Swung on and missed. Strike three. Bunted. Here's Freeman. He's the 1 2 to the third baseman. He's going to swing and miss. And top of the order, Hernandez. The 1 1 to him. And this is on the ground to second. So the Indians get that leadoff run around, but can't do anything with it. So we go to the bottom of the ninth. Tied at four. And it's time for me to go to the bullpen as well. A hand is going to come in the pitch. He's 0-1 with an 831 ERA. He does have three saves. Here's the 0-1 to Galvis. And he hits him. Not good. All right, here's Suarez. He is this is He's pinch hitting. This is his first at bat. He's swinging hit on the ground to third. Freeman will grab it, but there's nothing he can do about it. So we got two on, nobody out. And here is Cassianos pinch hitting uh, for the ninth hitter. The payoff to him. Swung and missed. So there's one down. Nick Senzel is one for four. So one out of him. The high and deep to the right field, but Nathan should play this. And put it on, number two. And the runner will tag. Galvis will move over to third. So the winning run's 90 feet away. And Joey Votto stands in two for four on the day. Here's the pitch to him. This bit is high and deep to right. It is going to be grabbed on the track. We've got extra baseball. So this is our third extra inning game, and it's, what, four games? So we get out of it as we are at that. Let's get our bullpen going up here. How about Whitgren? All right. 
Lindor, Santana, Reyes. Right where you need them here. Lindor's a 1-2 to him. We got a runner on second. I forgot about that. Again. Santana, I'm not going to... Ugh. I saw Iglesias is just throwing gas. Struck out the side, so we couldn't even do anything here. So we're still tied at four. And... We have all those lefties coming up. I'm going to let him stay out there. Stockis will hit a fly ball to deep center field. And the runner will tag and move. So the winning run is now 90 feet away. Unless they go to the bullpen or the bench. I'm going to keep my lefty in there. Here's the 0-2-2 coming in to Goodwin. And that'll do it, folks. Walk off, two run home run. Two straight games of the Reds. They've beaten us with a walk off. So we drop. We go to Cincinnati and drop, drop two. Sweep us. Not what we wanted to do, so that's just bad luck, I guess. So we got this one. We dropped the five and seven on the year. Swept by the Reds. Hand will take the loss. He's 0-2. Bradley wins his third. I didn't realize he came in to pitch. Oh, boy. All right. Well, on that note, I really don't want to play the next two games. <laughs> it is technically another series, so we're going to split this. And we're now tied for last. Um... In the division now, I mean, come on! I know it's really still way early, five and seven, and uh, we got a two-game set at home with the Reds, and then they we have to drop the roster down by two players before we go to play. I think it's the Cubs. So here's our two-game set coming with the Reds: uh, it's Plesac against Castillo, and then McKenzie against Wade Miley. Oh boy! Um, let's look and see. Yeah, and then we go, oh, no, we're playing the White Sox. Not, we're going to Chicago to play the White Sox. Okay, and then we have the Cubs. I knew they played the Cubs coming up here. All right, guys, well, I'm going to call it a night. Uh, it was a short stream because it was a two-game set. Tomorrow I'm going to do these two games. It'll be another short set, and then we can make our roster decisions because we have to drop the roster by two players to get down to 28 players um, and see how it goes. But, all right. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.